Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is an example of life imitating art, and she's written a book about it called Keeping Up with the Johnsons, Bo's Guide to Blackish Parenting. Please welcome to the show author and wife of Blackish, honey, yes. show creator Rainbow Barris, Dr. Rainbow Edwards Barris' wife. Yay! Yes. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you oh, for having you, me. Oh, you're Rainbow Barris. Yes. Kenya Barris is the creator Kenya of the show. Kenya Barris is the creator of the show. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> yes, well, okay. thank you so much for thank being you. here. Uh, obviously, we know that you, the real life rainbow, it, you get to see your life played out on camera yes. by Tracy Ellis Ross. What is that like for you? Um, initially, it was a little strange, for sure. It was weird. I think once um, the show goes on, you get more comfortable with it because the show, one, is received well, and I think, two, you realize how many other people are going through the same things, wow, yeah. and that's what it's all about for me. Mm -hmm. What are some of the um, particular things that are very similar to you and the character? Like, how much of it is really your life? The, the situations, the really. Whole situ the situations. Yeah, the situations. But I the mean, characters... They, 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 I mean, they're, you know, she, she, Tracy's an actor, you know, Anthony's an actor, and that's what they do so brilliantly. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think, you know, you can't have either, you know, written words or actors, and if it doesn't meet and match, you, you know, don't get right. the combination that I think we see in the right. show. Yeah. But the situations um, are, <gasps> tend to be uh, oh, <laughs> very much wow. so. Wow. You know, oh. A lot of what's okay. in our life. That's okay. deep. Okay, yeah. so we'll get into that in just a second. But yes. when Kenya, as a creative, came to you and said, I have this show idea, and I really want us to, like, you know, kind of show our lives on television, like, were you originally on board? Uh, you know, I was because you don't know what's going to get picked up. He had written other other pilots about our life and um, kind of took a different focus, a different angle, um, and this one stuck. But you never know when it's going to stick. So yeah. if he can write something brilliant and marvelous, I'm like, yeah, let's go for it. And then it's like, oh, it got picked up. I'm like, oh, really? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, you know, it was... It, it was always a blessing, but not quite expected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, well, speaking of which things sticking, I mean, obviously, uh, ABC and Blackish have had a, a great relationship so far, but we've heard rumblings that he could be actually taking the show to Netflix. Which is, which is good. Which is a good thing for I you. Think. So can you speak on that, or uh, where will we see uh, Blackish land? Um, you know, I think Blackish is home at ABC. As far as I know, ABC obviously, obviously has been great for Kenya. Mm -hmm. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, I don't see that relationship, you know, changing with the show. Okay. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. That's good to hear. And you know what I love about Blackish is that it touches topics that are, you know, the <laughs> real deal, yes. like of what's going on in our society. Is that hard to watch? And is it important, you know, how important is that to actually, for art to imitate life, mm -hmm. basically? Yeah. Um, it, it can be very difficult to watch, but mm -hmm. I have to understand that it's not just about me. I think right. all moms, right, you're like, I'm last on the list. Hello, somebody. Uh, so um, the older, my old, we have girls first, so the girls are usually like, did he really put that on there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, yeah. I'm like, just tell people it's made up. It's Hollywood. Yes. Um, so I think, you know, for me, I really look at it as therapeutic for my family mm -hmm. and for other people. And yeah. like I said, that's really, really, really important to me. And I want other people to know, like, this is a real family. That's why the topics resonate, I think, and with so many And look what it's people. doing. Oh, I mean, Blackish yeah. is an excellent, I mean, amazing show. We love Blackish. And it's, yeah. it's, it's really a healing for a lot of people. Yeah, it was, it was hard you. to watch the last couple of episodes. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I don't like this whole divorce <laughs> what are we doing thing. Here? I, I'm not into it, but I mean, it's fine. <laughs> but it, but it, happen, it happens in real life, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, it does. I yes. mean, Kenya actually came to me before he did it, asked me what I thought. And um, I was like, I really want you to do it because okay. I think part of the reason why um, he has another show, Grownish. I think part of the reason why that show um, people liked it so much so quickly was because you saw this person who you kind of saw as perfect, which was is Zoe played mm -hmm, by Yara. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you saw these flaws, yeah. and I was like, we need to show flaws in this couple, yeah, you know, because that's real life. Yeah, and who cares if people think it's about us or. You know, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, and so I was really proud of him for, you know, wanting to do that. And I definitely thought it was important for us yes. to yeah. see that and yeah. to see how it plays out. Yeah. Speaking of which, you played out a lot of uh, what you're talking mm. about, parenting and family, in this book. What made you write this book and why do you feel like it's important to put into words? Yes. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> um, I wanted to write it years ago. And um, when we were approached by ABC, 
it was the right time mm -hmm. and I was prepared. Yeah. So I already had stories and things written down for years and they approached us and Kenya's like, obviously she's the one to write it because, you know, it's about parenting. Exactly. So, um, and, and because of the show, I had um, a platform and really had a base to, to kind of follow. So I continued with stories that I, I think you would see play out on the show, but they're told from Bo's perspective yeah. Yeah. instead of from Dre or the father's right. perspective. Yeah. And you have six amazing, beautiful children wow. do. that you six have raised. Children. Yes. Um, in the book, you talk about imperfect parenting. Um, what is the message behind imperfect parenting? What do people need to know, especially new moms or, you know... Moms people, in general. Moms in general. Ooh. What is the what is the message? Because I, I understand that right out the gate. Honey. Right. Well, yeah. I just had like, some imperfect parenting this morning. Right. Yeah, so, right. <laughs> Probably going to go home and have some imperfect parenting. Exactly. <laughs> right. Where I have to apologize often to oh, my children me too. for my behavior. Hello, like, somebody. Yeah. Queen of apology. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, I think it's just exactly that. I think it is your real life in day to day and that when you read maybe something in a book before and people, you're like, well, that's not how it really goes. Yes. I'm sharing my stories and I'm not really saying you should do things this way or do things that way. I'm saying this is the way that I've done them and this is the outcome. And I hope that it's helping my children to be better people than, than I am. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we're all imperfect. And this notion of, you know, somehow doing things the right way yeah. is I not, think you're right. It's not true. Yeah. Well, we're really happy that you came yes. down and talked to us today. Thank Please uh, give Mr. Barris our best. Yes, tell I him, Thank you for Blackish. We absolutely yes. love the show. Yes. And we thank, thank you. you for being thank transparent you. and allowing him to tell your story. Yes, thank you. Please absolutely. make sure you get her book. Thank we you. love it. This is Blackish. Keeping up with the Johnsons, Bo's Guide to Blackish Parenting is available anywhere books are sold.